with the tragic suicide death of... <laughs> Eleven twelve.
The sound of 114 78s being played simultaneously. East Culture from Seattle with a excerpt from their Rina Lechia EP released a couple of years ago in addition, suitably enough, of 114 copies. With each copy of the EP, you get a copy of the uh, one of the altered 10 inches played. Unfortunately, it's out of print, but if you... Join you at the subway Take a trip downtown to the 42nd Street Ballet And sidewalk supermarket The customers assemble I'll Look around and see what the meeting woman has today And watch the queens do their thing Ball and listen to the rhythm Yes, they do know how to sing Take one home for money You will not think you are funny When you explain the delicate attentions you require And a dollar ninety-five takes you to the movies With the cigarette scenes of nymphomaniacs unveiled Later on in the screen encounter in the men's room you Tell yourself that I'm not to and every night you will find Sitting and sipping on a burgy man Who found peace of mind For a minimum of payment Of every stopless entertainment That none above the age of 35 can understand Yeah. 
fun how much fun it's been 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 how much fun it's been
Okay, Dr. Gunny, he does sound upset about something, doesn't he? Oh, 63, 121 Reykjavik, Iceland. This is uh, the Silver Apples with Oscillations. I'm a simulation. 
called Donna, and it's got this song on the other side, All Women Are Bitches. Which are more dangerous, men or guns? Both are dangerous, but only a man can kill you. Or at least try. one that was fifth column and that's available for a playoff to be had if you give us a call and pledge your support to CKUT's fifth annual funding drive. Lots of good things to pick up including the Breeder CD, including Mecha Normal CD, Golden Palominos and Super Snaz, Crevice 7 Inch and uh, tons tons more including M- Melissa Farrick who is a vehement Juliana Hatfield hater. This is Liz Fair and fucking run. 398-8991 give us a call.
That was Liz Fair taken off. Ben Stan Teen Idol avec Dick Clark qui va nous présenter des extraits pour le meilleur mais surtout pour le pire Ben donc, ben moi, dès ce soir, peut-être souligné pour c'est à 20h donc euh, euh, Thank you. 
I'm sorry, but I'm out of KY jelly. <laughs> Never mind sugar, we can catch the early movie. program you're listening to contains Well, that was just intense for me, and I was glad to share it with all of you. Um, Our next guests on this special edition of uh, Queer Core on Valentine's Day are Garrett and Jeff, who are here to uh, tell us about uh, their own relationship and uh, what makes it so special on this Valentine's Day. So take it away. Thanks, Vincent. Um, I'm here with Garrett, and we've got to talk about... This is the big thing with our relationship, is that we're actually each other's longest-running relationship. Ever. Uh, ever. All time. On both sides. On both sides. By, like, a really long shot. It, what is it now? Four and a half years? Yeah, we've known each other four and a half years. And we've, you know, we clicked right away. It was that love at first sight, I think, actually. Um, kindred spirit. Kindred spirit, says Anne of Green Gables. Is Anne of Green Gables a fag cultural icon? I'm not sure. Maybe not. Anyway, I think she's a fag hag cultural icon. That, that's probably more like it. I yeah. mean, but that again feeds into those stereotypes that uh, Lola and Vincent were talking about. Um, <laughs> I've actually, I'm actually a little disappointed with Lola um, because I thought she was my fag hag too, and and she didn't name me as one of her favorites, and I'm Very really nice. hurt. Deeply and, and, and painfully hurt. She's, she's, she looks like she's crying now. I've really made her feel bad. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't make, mean to make you cry. Um, that's the other thing. I'm actually a hag fag. I have all these women friends. Um, and so. Oh, so I'm just one of many? Well, no. You're the most important one. I oh. Mean, it, you are issues of monogamy it? coming into this again, Garrett? I mean, is yes. this what we're going to have to deal with? Yes, yet again. Issues of monogamy. I'm sorry. I don't care who you sleep with, <laughs> but you are mine. Okay, that's right. We, we've, yeah. That's, yes. 
That's true. See, we, we've decided that we have a domestic relationship. This is a recent development in our particular uh, history. Uh, history, yeah. Um, because Jeff is now finally, after a long separation, we are now finally living in the same city again. And that was a very, very difficult time. It was two years um, where two years. Garrett was in, in a different city than I was. Um, Bell Canada was the, the great profiter from that. I think we were probably their yeah. profit margin for those two years. Yeah, um, so anyone who owns Bell shares. Phone yeah. calls at 3 o'clock in the morning. Well, you know, I'd go out, I'd be so upset that you weren't around, I'd get drunk and be forced to phone you at 3 in the morning. It was, it's a real sad tale of, of, of you know... A men. Men. Mostly men. Men. <gasps> Well, okay, mostly men. Mostly men, mostly and, men. And, and generally and how awful they are. Yeah, generally how awful. Except unless one of us is in love with one, and then they're... They're somewhat okay, but they're somewhat often okay. awful, too. They're off, eh, often you awful. You know, it's a sad thing, that, actually. I suppose that really does make me a fag hag, according to that definition. Yeah. You know, that not really liking most straight, straight men, men thing? No. Because uh, yeah. pretty... Pretty, yeah. Under all that hair and patchouli, one <laughs> usually beats the heart of a true pig. Um, I like some straight men, but well, I, I agree. So do I. I agree with <laughs> I agree with Lola that you know, in when you're friends with a straight man, the sex thing, it it has to come into it at some point. Sometimes you can manage to to avoid it. Either you get rid of it right at the beginning by stating bluntly as one of my straight friends did to me that I think you're really pretty but I'm not attracted to you mm -hmm. and then you don't have to worry about it anymore but I mean the best thing about being a fag hag is that you can get tons and tons of physical affection you can demand it you can insist on it and you know they're never gonna shit on you if you don't come through yeah, yeah being a fag hag I think would definitely bring your, your hug quotient per day up oh. quite a bit oh I wouldn't be making mine otherwise oh uh, well you know that's I mean I'm glad I, I'm glad I fulfill some sort of purpose in your <laughs> life you know other than just to be <laughs>
is dishing out all it has on a 1968 single that's so hot it positively fries and it's called Open My Eyes. Subterranean Jungle Time is now 16 minutes to 11 and I'm flipped out about to send you to psychedelirious British freak beat heaven with the barrier waxing wiggly out of sight on the green and purple founders spot the lights.